hello everybody how are you today this is timeless the empress for joy media and i want to tell you about what's going on and how we can learn from it as children of god so today one of our brother uh his excellency the governor of lagos state Babajide olushola Lu, is on the news for some reasons and today i saw that a young man by the name Emmanuel Sonwolu is out saying he is the biological father of his. Um, the mother, one Miss Grace Moses, told him that Sonwolu gave birth to him sometime 1995 1994 when uh, the governor was working in Worry Delta State with a private company. Uh, though the governor is not uh, buying the story and is not even uh, ready to go into any form of um you know paternity relationship with this young man so nigerians are all clamping on him saying he should do the pat uh, paternity test the dna test to ascertain, ascertain if he's the father of a man worried in worry most of these men they come from portacot lagos abuja to work you understand their wives they live in those places they are or they are from if they are from the west they are going to leave their their wives and children in the west and come to work then be shuffling between months or so and things that i saw then too I do not doubt this stuff. It can happen. We we know now that yeah, um, our dear governor Samu Olu is actually a Christian. Yeah, but we all know Christians. We all have a bad past. We all have been there. We all have done a whole lot of things. But before we become born again or now found Christ and we want to live right and do the right thing and you know be in the right places. But before then, if there is anything we've done wrong, you know, and it's cashing up with us presently, because there are things like that that will forever cash up with us, whether we like it or not. They will always come. Even if you are born again, they will also, they will always use it to yab you or to talk to you. You just have to take that cross to, to as in, take it to heart. Just understand that, that it is your own mistake and you deal with it. So this thing is, if it is true that our dear governor, Sonwo Olu, is the father of this young man, Emmanuel Sonwo Olu, who is claiming to be the son of the governor in Delta State. Boy, he said they've tried to reach the governor, which he has declined, and is not even submitting for a DNA. Mm? He said... Um, According to the, um, the uh, what is it called, the, the lawyers, they have invoked the immunity clause in the paternity suit at the Every Division of Delta State High Court to prevent our dear governor from submitting to a DNA test. So I just want to say, please, if you are having this kind of issue as a Christian, as a child of God, do not shy away from your mess. If you've done something wrong before and um, you know there is a way to correct it instead of to make matter worse, please correct it. Wives, learn to be forgiven. You, that was him then. Circumstances, wrong decisions. There is no reason why you as a wife should allow your husband to be living somewhere different from you. You guys are married. Morning, afternoon, night, midnight, early mornings, every time. That is why you are in a union of two mm? and one is strong and one is soft they are all for reasons so please perform your divine reasons as god has called you to be do not say you want to marry me and put me in lagos and you will be fabricating in uk or canada please do not because it is not work you know that is my own understanding there are people that understand and think they can do better but this is my own and as christians this is what we should do the bible does not want you to marry a woman you will not be there physically what is the marriage for a lot of people are doing it but i don't think it's the best i can tell you there are a whole lot of people that will marry their wives and put in kafachan and they are in lagos oh my god what are you doing you will not be the sugar daddy of all the wrong guests in lagos you will not be the one coming every night, every every night to come and look for where to quench your temperature. Because the temperature must rise, whether you like it or not, you are a man. 
on a daily is rising. So if you not decide that uh, this temperature that is rising, you want to be cooling it in a way that you shouldn't be cooling it, you are only evolving yourself and causing trouble for yourself, for your wife, for your marriage, for your children, for everything. Because a lot of things can actually go wrong. You can lose your life in the process. The person can become pregnant. You can contact uh, STDs, even sexual um, STDs that are more even deadlier than dead and in the street. You, you are open to these things. And even spiritual STDs, demons that you are contacting again on your body because you want to calm your temperature. So we should be very careful as children of God. We should be very, very careful. And one beauty I love about serving God from um a younger age is the beauty that it will save you a whole lot of mistakes a whole lot of uh, trouble i was i know god when i was growing up but at some point you know this you don't just want to practice the things that the book is saying this is the way you don't want to practice them and whether you like it or not when you practice them you will receive the blessings and when you do not practice them you are going to receive the cost the shame the disgrace and everything that comes with it so that is it it is crazy all right guys so please oh i said i should just drop this for us to know and um uh, be careful as children of god and do better with our choices our decisions as the lord bless us in jesus name amen so say a prayer to our dear for our dear governor say a prayer for our daddy daddy of the state that is on who look please that he will pray for you, that the Lord will give you wisdom to follow this matter, and you will resolve it the way a child of God should resolve it, and you will, the all glory and honor will be ascribed to the name of the Lord, because he is the only one that can do things. Do not succumb to the words, um, what they describe as shame. No, it is not. It is a test of faith. The Lord wants to now know and prove you to them that yes you are a child of god please do not let the name of the lord down let the name of the lord be glorified at the end of this we will all sing hallelujah wherever past of yours is forgiving god is not holding its account of you or holding its account in any place i want to judge you no just do the right thing and let the name of the lord be praised praise the lord Oh, hallelujah i couldn't shout very well because of you know neighbors and um let me know do not be selfish with your comments the lord loves cheerful givers if you are not a giver of your comments the lord is not happy you. so please and um, be a giver all right very soon i'll be making a lot of videos with my faces just that i've been so busy shuffling here and there it's not been easy trying to juggle this um this other career with the other ones and you know a whole lot of things bills must be paid so please bear with me for the now until i set to a little and i'll be able to you know uh, just be on a video every time and we enjoy more of this god bless you drop your comments